jack-o'-lanterns. Sally pointed her tiny finger at the edge of the pumpkin patch. I want this one. The lopsided thing rested on a withered vine. Its burnt orange color had tinges of green and gray. Lumps stood out all over. Are you sure? I asked. It's kind of warty. No, I love it, she assured me. Tim picked out a huge, round pumpkin, and I bought both from the guy in the straw hat running the stand. What's wrong with your pumpkin? Tim asked Sally as we got in the car. Nothing. He's going to be the best jack-o'-lantern. He teased her all the way home. Sally finally just stuck out her tongue and held it there until we pulled into the driveway. The kids carved their pumpkins on the dinner table while I tackled the dirty dishes left over from breakfast. Tim gave his a huge grin. Sally's pumpkin ended up with a twisted sneer. Tim slapped his forehead. Your jack-o'-lantern's terrible. Can you even fit a candle in there? Sally held her jack-o'-lantern in her arms. He's the best. You'll see. They fussed until I chased them outside to play so I could clean up the table. I set their jack-o'-lanterns on either side of the table and gathered the bowls of pumpkin guts and dirty spoons. I took an armload of dishes and lugged it back to the kitchen. Just as I stepped out of the dining room, there was a sickening thump behind me. I turned back. The big knife that Tim had used was stuck straight into his jack-o'-lantern's grin, cutting it into grotesque halves. The pumpkin gurgles and gradually fell into two separate parts with a sloppy sigh. Sally's jack-o'-lantern looked on from the other side of the table with its crooked sneer. I stormed outside where the kids were tossing a ball. Sally, what did you do? Sally just stood with her mouth wide open and her eyes tearing up. But mom, Tim said, she's been out here with us the whole time. I turned to Tim. You both were? He nodded. But, I mumbled, what happened? We raced back inside. Tim ran to his run pumpkin and let out a wail. I put my arm around him. We'll get you a new pumpkin. It might happen again, Sally said. Tim sniffed and began to cry again. Sally, I growled. Sally was across the table, holding her twisted jack-o'-lantern in her arms. She shrugged her shoulders so high they almost touched her ears. He promised me he'd be the best, one way or another.